Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the best of beauty 2017, at least in my opinion. Um, I'm going to be making this a try on beauty 2017 haul type thing. Um, so keep on watching if you want to do it. I'm just going to go straight into the video. Okay, right, first things first is we need our primer. So what I've been doing lately is I have been taking... I've been taking the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul, and I put it in my T-zone. And then I take about a pump, and I just dab it where I want it to go, and then put it, and then make sure you wash your hands that is an absolute must you don't want to get bacteria all over your face i have a really big problem with large pores and any pore filling primer is absolutely amazing all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take a damp beauty blender i'm going to or beauty sponge whatever i'm going to wet this and then i will be right back I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and I'm going to apply the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I am absolutely in love with this tinted moisturizer. I'm not a big fan of full coverage foundations just because I like to have a more natural glow. Okay, I'm going to take about a pump and then I'm going to place it in spots with my sponge. Alright, then I'm just going to blend all of this out with my beauty blender. When you're using your beauty, or beauty sponge, Jesus, when you use your beauty sponge, make sure that you are patting, like dab, 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 instead of swiping, because then it gives you the like swipes on your face and you don't want that. It just it gives you such a more radiant glow. And make sure you go down your neck, so that your neck and your foundation are matching and it doesn't look like a separation between the two. Alright, the next thing I'm going to take, I'm also going to be using my beauty sponge again. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think, I don't even have to explain why this concealer is amazing. I think everybody knows this by now. I think it is just so good. I'm in love with this. So I don't like to apply too much to my face because I feel like when you apply too much it just looks weird I do about that I do around my nose because I have redness around my nose a little bit here a little highlight here and then here because I have a lot of texture here and then here so it's not leave it and I also put on my eyelids if you're looking for a little bit more like natural glow I suggest going with your shade in the concealer. If you want to highlight your under eyes, go with like one or two shades um, brighter than your actual skin shade because it just brightens your under eye and gives you like a luminous glow. It's like highlighting your face without actually using a highlighter. I mean obviously two different things but it just brightens up your under eyes. Alright, so for setting my concealer in my under eye, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here. I think it gives such... Oh, this is like the best powder. I just dab it right underneath my under eye. If you want to really set it and make it stay all day, then that's when you bake. But a setting powder like this, you don't want to put too much because it just gives a very weird look trust me <laughs> i know all right i'm going to be taking the same shade and light contour palette and i'm going to be taking i'm going to be mixing these two shades right here as a bronzer i have been obsessed with doing this lately <sighs> i want to make sure you get the excess off so it's not like crazy on your face so Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Blush in the shade Party. I love the Tarte blushes. I think that they look so pretty on the skin. Oh, and it just gives you like such a natural glow. Alright, the next thing I'm going to be taking is the Becca. Oh, pa the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighter in the shade Opal. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I love this highlighter. Look at that highlight. Gotta get the Cupid's bow. Alright, so my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year goes out to the Jaclyn Hill collab with Morphe. I am obsessed with this palette. It is so pretty. It has so many different shades and you can never go wrong with it. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Just look at the shade range. Like, Alright, so I'm going to be taking this shade right here. I'm going to take it. see the powder okay I'm going to take it on my R37 Morphe brush I'm just going to place it in the crease I usually start out in the outer crease and then I move in when there's barely any product to the inner corner of my crease and then I do like windswiper motions and then I do like circular motions the next shade I'm going to take is this one I want to place this one slightly lower than my transition shade all right then I'm going to be taking this shade right here I'm going to place it just on the outer corner pat it and I'm still using the exact same brush. Blah, brush. Just pat it in the outer corner. Grab a little more. Pat a little more. And then start doing windswiper motions to the inner corner. And also pat it in the inner corner. Alright, then I'm just going to go back with this shade. Just place it on top of everything. Just to soften it out. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Such a pretty shade. Off in the inner corner, move out, and stop about halfway. So about halfway, stop. Take your brush, and you're going to take the same shade. You're going to take this shade right here and just blend it. Move it out kind of next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this type of brush it is the Morphe M432 and I'm going to take the darkest last shade in her palette I'm just going to grab some on here I'm going to go as close to my line as possible and just place this because I don't want a liner because I don't want it to be too dramatic all right so I thought I was filming but I obviously was not I am in love with the Dior Dior show mascara I'm so freaking good this is what the bristles look like um so I'm going to apply it right now I already started applying it in case you haven't noticed so the last thing I'm going to be taking is my lipstick type thing for my lips I'm going to be taking the bare minerals gen nude oof, the gen nude lip gloss in the shade must have oh I have I keep this gloss in my purse at all times it is my favorite gloss I love it it's just such a pretty color and I feel like it goes with any look I love it it I will say it does smell like play-doh and I don't like that but I've gotten used to it by now that I love it
all right and that is it for the final look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i had so much fun making it um let me know if you guys want me to do any more of these type of videos it isn't necessarily a video i typically do um but i do enjoy doing this so let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this all right i love you guys i will link all the items in the description below just in case and let me know if you guys want me to tell you all the brushes i'm using i know i don't typically do that or like where my beauty sponge is from i don't typically do that type of stuff but let me know if you do want me to let you know so you know what to use <laughs> um anyways okay all right i'm just rambling ram rambling all right i love you guys i'll see you in the next video bye